Welcome folks, it is estimated that 10% of feed delivered is wasted on an average farm. In a 250 saw unit, this can be more than 150 tons of feed per year. In a time of record fee feed prices, eh, it is essential that feed wastage is minimized and uh, ways of managing and understanding feed movement within a feed bin is, is, is essential to ensure that feed spillages do not occur. And feed spillage and wastage usually occurs in the distribution system and the storage while uh, sometimes it occurs while cleaning the feed bins. But today here I have a host, uh, Mr. Mbugwa, who has invented an automatic feeding trough that uh, it is locally assembled and uh, he has tested it in his pig farm. Mr. Mbugwa, yeah. I just want you to maybe uh, introduce na utueleze kwa hii farm yako uh, ninini unafanya haswa. Yeah. Uh, Mina ito Adani Mbugwa. Uh, na mi na ni mkulima wa ngurue. Ni kwa nangurue hapa, samaki, mbuzi. Yeah, and I've done this for two years. Okay. Ngepena tu utueleze maybe yo, how your journey has been for the last two years. Mm, the journey has not been easy. Mm. First, for pigs, the feed cost is very high. Okay, okay. Yes. And also the, the, the farm management is also not very easy. So you manage people. Uh -huh. Yes. So you have someone who has some idea for management hapa ama yes okay. and you some staff uh -huh. and you can say Diana now uh -huh. yes so me unaona kwamba expenses zile mingi sana zinatokana na upande gani kwa kulima wako expenses most expenses yeah. sana sana ni cost ya feeding uh -huh. unga iko very high okay and also comparing mm. cost ya feeds mm and the market price okay. I eating gani sana okay the feeds the feeds are very expensive mm. so kwanza so, kupata quality feeds mm -hmm. is a very big challenge because when you kwa other farmers mm. maybe they usually consider yes. because of the high cost they try to ensure that they minimize the cost kwa kujitengenezea wenyewe yeah. so you can consider such a thing you may well consider but for a, a small scale farm like this one mm nunua kununua pia hizo hizo yeah, materials eh? yeah. you ufanya your own mixing yeah. it's also very expensive it's also a challenge yes yeah. so sometimes you are left with the supplementing supplementing here and there mm. to make sure your pigs na kula vizuri uh, what amount of land do you do you have here ambayo you are doing for the farm hapa niko na one plot that mm. is 70 by 70 feet uh -huh. yes Oh. And the, the, the space in between and the pigs, mm. it's about uh, about 20 feet, 20 mm. by 60 feet. Mm. And the, around uh, 60 pigs. Okay. Yes. Your journey as a farmer, mm -hmm. uh, managing your farm with different types of uh, activities, how did you yes. uh -huh. how, how tiresome is it? It is quite a job. Eh? Mm. Like the, the first thing you do in the morning mm. is to clean the pens. Mm. After cleaning, it's when you do the feeding. Okay. Yes. After that, now we manage what, what the the manure we get from the pigs. Mm -hmm. Now spread it to the farms. Uh -huh. Yes. The rest is now to to feed the chicken, the boozies, mm -hmm. the fish. Because I understand that mm -hmm. also uh, it's important to keep records. So asubui, yes. does it involve pia wewe mwenye kuangalia records flani kuhakikisha kwamba mambo yanafuatwa? Yes, I have to. Like the, like the feeds, eh? how the, the pigs are feeding, it's a very big deal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Mm. The mm. amounts, the amounts you're you feeding to the pigs mm. matters a lot. Just tell me about how mm. you keep your pigs here. Yeah. Okay. I, I usually buy piglets yeah. from other farmers. Mm. That, that's how I find it best. Mm. And from uh, if I get a pig th three months old, Mm. Uh, I, I, I am with the pig mm. up until six and a maximum of seven months. Seven months. Eh? It acquired my fika around uh, 70, 80 kilos. Then you sell it? Eh? Then I sell it. Oh, okay. Yes. So is there a specific breed that you prefer? Okay. The, the, the type doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. No, I buy from farmers. So yeah, yeah. At times, it doesn't matter what I buy from the farmers. Mm -hmm. As long as they are quality, they are well fed, mm. 
they're in good shape. Mm -hmm. But I, I do have Dulocks, mm -hmm. I do have a Landless, a Large White. Okay. I have a mix of different breeds. Mm -hmm. Yes. How is the market for pig farm? Uh, the market since I started, uh, it, it has never failed. It has been a good market so far. Okay. Yes. Uh, so do you? There's a lot, a lot of demand mm. for for pig meat at the moment. Mm. Currently, the biggest market for for pork yeah. is farmers' choice. Oh. Yes. Okay. They are good buyers. Mm. Yes. What challenge do you think that oh. is majorly mm -hmm. the, in, the, in, a, in a pig farm? The biggest challenge is. Is a, is a human management. The human management. The staff, the staff management, and also the the feeding. The feeding, the feeding is the biggest challenge with big uh, farmers. Okay. Yeah, the cost of feeds. That is the biggest problem. Takatunyeleza to what this equipment is. Mm. What is it? In the pig feeder. Uh huh. kujana different sizes. Kama hii ni eight feeder. Can feed up to eight pigs. Eight pigs. Eh? Yes. At a go. Yes. So those eight pigs means like kuba kuba ma kona age flani. It doesn't matter. Mm. The the space, the, the the space can feed any any size. Mm. Yes. Oh. To neza and taking neza bigger than that. What was the main objective that mm. compelled you to make sure <laughs> that uh, you you want to make it? The main objective was the loss of feeds. The loss of feed. The, the spillage. Mm, the spillage. Yeah? The spillage is is mm. a big problem. Uh -huh. Yes. So could you maybe just clarify, mm. how does the cleaning entail mm -hmm. for the feeder? The feeder, once the feeder is used, like we clean this every three days, mm. just clean it. Oh. So soap and water. Mm. Yes. So if someone has to purchase it, you always remind them of yes. the same? Eh? You know it's going to be dirty. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. They are going to soil it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. pigs. Eh? A bigger size. Uh, a yeah? drum feeder. Yeah. Yeah, metallic drums. Oh, so that one, like currently, you don't have such. Uh, to Naunda, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. all this we do on order. Oh. Yes. Kayo to the Unda, you can feed 12 pigs. 12 pigs. So it must be a bigger, bigger size. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. any, any, any size yeah. on demand can be, can be done. How would you? Rate your automatic feeder, this one, mm -hmm. uh, and the ones that are in the market. A tire feeder, mm -hmm. first of all, the tire mm -hmm. is, is, is a. How do I. It lasts very long. It, it's long lasting, eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the pigs is not going to bite the tire. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes. The, the only spare you uh, may need to replace after some time uh, is the bucket. Oh, the bucket. Yes. And it's also easy, very easy to repair. Oh. The whole of this thing yeah. is very easy to repair. Even for me, a local yeah. fabricator, like a, like one a piece of metal. If a piece of metal breaks, yeah, you can just fix it in the nearest uh, local. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But then, how do you ensure that the equipment does not fail? Because mm -hmm. you don't want someone purchasing the equipment. Yes. Then I end up at a mm -hmm. You know, you know. Since we started doing this, we have tested this device. Of course, it has failed. Mm -hmm. But we have also recorded the the issues, yeah, the issues and yeah. we have made sure. And we also use it in our farm. Okay. We have so far used it for for the past year, mm -hmm. and it has not failed us. So, are you thinking maybe in the future? Because I'm sure the, mm -hmm. this one is mm -hmm. specifically designed mm -hmm. for the pig. Yes. Have you considered maybe making other mm -hmm. innovative equipment yes. for other livestock, like the mm -hmm. goats and yes. maybe? Yeah, we, we we have had uh, a request for for chicken, mm. a chicken feeder, mm. working almost the same the same way. Mm. Yeah, and we have done for chicken. We can do for cows. We can do for any type of livestock. I I see you have confidence with the equipment. Yes. Would you think maybe there is a way you can you still need to improve it mm -hmm. to ensure that it does not fail? Is there something mm -hmm. that you think? Uh, so far, we've done a lot of improvements mm. uh, up to the way it is right now. Mm. And uh, there's always room for improvement. So generally, if you were to, to let us know the benefits and the challenges that are associated with it, which one, what, would, what could you tell us? Uh, for starters, you, don't have, you, you, you curb the spillage. Yeah, okay. You don't lose a lot of feeds. Mm. 
all the pigs are spitting it. Mm. And also, the disadvantage is not much, really, mm. except for the. Okay, if if you if you make a if you have a single feeder, yeah. and you have more than like uh, like ours is a neat feeder, mm. if you have more than eight eight pigs, mm. you see you need a. Uh, like two feet that's in one room. Oh, yeah, in one room. Eh? That, that, that might be, that, that's a small challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although that can be made bigger okay. to accommodate uh, the number you want. Yes. Would you maybe consider that in the future you might have to liaise with other companies to produce it in large scale, considering that maybe the mm -hmm. orders, the requests yes. will mm -hmm. increase? Yes. And you might not have the equipment mm -hmm. to supply to a larger audience. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the orders currently are coming in, so it is something I can consider you can doing consider. large scale. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. Would you may, maybe mention, just mention the, the, the online platform where you sell them so that maybe our fans are in purchasing your product, maybe just mention it and uh, any other contact information that you might need because we just share it with the fans. My number is 0706-357-369. I'm on WhatsApp. On YouTube, I'm Daniel Mbogwa. The farm, the farm's name is Imani Farm. The cost of making animal feeds has gone up in the past few months, forcing many farmers to close shop amid the low demand due to pricing of feeds. The issue is significant considering that it results in uh, job losses because some um, farmers cannot just sustain the ever-rising cost of material. Now, automatic feeders, as we have seen in Bugwa's case, ensure that the feed gets to the trough when it is needed. Farmers need to embrace new innovative ideas in the future. I'm your host, Godwin Osiba. See you in the next video. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and so that you are prompted every time I upload a new video to the site. Peace.